Could the swine flu be less severe than first thought? That's the hopeful notion across the globe, as experts and officials say the virus does not appear to be as potent or deadly as the strains of previous outbreaks. It may turn out that H1N1 is, uh, runs its course like uh, ordinary flus, uh, in which case uh, we will have prepared uh, and we won't need all these preparations. The CDC says the latest strain doesn't exhibit the same traits as the strain in a 1918 swine flu outbreak, which killed an estimated 40 to 50 million people. But precautions are still being taken. Swine flu cases at some schools, including this one in Washington state, have prompted officials to shut them down through parts of next week. But New York's St. Francis Prep, where a third of the students have come down with flu-like symptoms, will reopen Monday. The entire building has been sanitized from head to foot. Mexico is the suspected epicenter of the disease. Officials there had suspected 168 swine flu deaths, but now claim that number may have been inflated. Still, the country has shut down most government services for five days. Officials will use the break to determine whether emergency measures can be eased. Back in the U.S., President Barack Obama says even if the flu preps turn out to be unnecessary, the ordeal has been a valuable experience. Even if it turns out that uh, the H1N1 uh, is relatively mild on the front end. It could come back in a more virulent form during the actual flu season. And just in case that happens, Obama says the U.S. is still working to produce a vaccine. Sophia Manos, The Associated Press.